is at rest in my Savior am happy and blessed watching gone as long as I believe There will be another angel Around the throne tonight Your love lives on inside of me And I will hold on tight It's not my place to question Only God knows why just jealous of the angels around the throne tonight Always made my troubles feel so small And you were always there to catch me when I'd fall In a world Where heroes come and go Where God just took the only one I know So I'll hold you as close as I can Longing for the day when I see your face again But until then God must need another angel Around the throne tonight Your love lives on inside of me And I will hold on tight It's not my place to question only God knows why I'm just jealous of the angels Around the throne tonight Singing hallelujah
didn't know today would be your last Or that I'd have to say goodbye to you so fast I'm so numb I can't feel anymore I'm praying you just walk back through that door And tell me that I was only dreaming You're not really gone as long as I believe There will be another angel Around the throne tonight Love lives on inside of me And I will hold on tight It's not my place to question Only God knows why I'm just jealous of the angels Around the throne tonight Always made my troubles feel so small And you were always there to catch me when I'd fall In a world where heroes come and go Where God just took the only one I know so I'll hold you as close as I can Longing for the day when I see your face again But until then, God must need another angel around the throne tonight your love lives on inside of me And I will hold on tight It's not my place to question Only God knows why I'm just jealous of the angels Around the throne tonight Singing happy
Testing one, two. A pleasant good morning, brothers and sisters, friends, family, and love. Vera Paradisi, lovingly known as Auntie Vera. Jesus. Let us lift holy hands unto the Lord. Let us give God the glory and the honor for this is the day that the Lord has made. Father, I thank you this morning, oh God. I thank you, sweet Holy Spirit. I say you are welcome, you are welcome, you are welcome in this, oh my God. Father, this time, oh God, your words said, oh God, that you are the comforter this morning, oh God. And Lord, I place this family in the hands of you, oh God. Father, you know this time, oh God, the hurt and the pain, oh God, deep within in the heart, oh God. But you said, oh God, that you will never leave us comfortless, oh God. I pray, oh God, that you will come and touch each and every one, oh God, at this time, my God, and the death of their sister, oh Lord God. I pray, Holy Spirit, that you have the final say, oh God. I pray, God, that you will go deep in your heart, my God, my God, and touch them, my God. Because you said to be absent from here, oh God, is to be present with you, my God. And Lord God, I decree and I declare, Lord God, at this time, my God, you know, God, you know in the midst of it all, Father. And God, we place everything in your hands, oh God. Let the spread of peace come, my God. Let the spread of peace come, oh God. Not as the world give it, but you give it, my God. And at this time, my God, the need that peace, my God. The need that peace which passes all understanding to keep the heart and mind in you, oh God. Father, I give you the glory and the honor for 
for the blood. I thank you for the blood, my God. I thank you, oh God, even for her husband, my God. The member of the family, oh God, that you will touch them, my God. You, oh God, will touch the heart, the mind, the body, soul, and spirit, my God. Because it's all given by you, Lord Jesus. And Father, give you the praise and the glory and the honor, God. At this time, my God, I thank you, Holy Spirit. I thank you, Holy Spirit. I thank you, I thank you, I thank you. Because God, you know it all this morning, my God. I pray, oh God, we leave the rest up to you, Jesus. For you are in control this morning, God. I bless you and I thank you. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I'll be reading from Psalms 23. The Lord is my shepherd and I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down the greener pasture. He lead me beside stale water, restoreth my soul. He lead me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, through I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I will fear no evil. Thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comforted me. Thou prepareth a table before me in the presence of my enemy. Thou anointed my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me. All the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. At this time, I would like to call on Sister Lynn and Sister Sharon. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, this morning we are just here to celebrate the life of Sister Vera this morning. Amen? Amen. What a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and grief to bear. What a privilege to carry. Everything to God in prayer. Oh, what peace we often forfeit. Oh, what needless pain we bear. All because we do not carry. Everything to God in prayer. We 
Lord God. Mira. Vera. Oh Lord God, Sister Vera, Lord God. Father, there was, there was a time that she used to be, oh God, in deliverance, stopping at a woman who loved the Lord, my God. But Father, I pray, Holy Spirit, that you have the final say over our life. You have the final say, Lord God. It's not about me. It's not about you. It's about Jesus. And I pray, oh Lord God, you will bless the soul, oh Lord God. I pray, Holy Spirit, that you are in control. I give it all unto you this morning, God. I give it all unto you this morning, Jesus. Father, I worship your name. For you dwell in the secret place of the Most High. God, you dwell in the hearts of the saints here, Lord God. Father, I give you the praise and the honor and the glory, O oh Lord God. Father, is that how beautiful we saw? Is that how good we are, oh Lord God? But you are the one know the heart this morning. You are the one know the heart, and you are coming back for a heart that is ready to meet the maker this morning. Father, I bless you. I bless you this morning. Father, I ask of you to continue to uplift this family. Father God, they trust in you. They wait on you, God. They did not let go. They did not give up. And they hold on to the promise of God. That they will see the sister, Lord. And God is all because of you. Because you are a miracle, God. And I give you all the glory and all the honor this morning. I give you a high note of praise. That you, 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 you are the one. You are the one in the secret place of this, of the most high. God, as we dwell it in your presence, you will keep us. You will keep each one of us. Father, I give it all unto you. I give it all unto you, God, in behalf of this family, in behalf of the pain and the sorrow, that you will touch them and comfort them and give them the peace in Jesus' name. At this time, I'll hand it over to Dr. Aaron as I welcome him. Thank you very much, Pastor Rhonda. For those of you all who don't meet me that know me, my name is Aaron and I am I am the nephew of the late Vera Paradisi. At this point, we would just like to encourage, not enforce, but just encourage everyone to maintain the COVID-19 protocols. Um, not enforce, but encourage that everyone wear a mask as much as possible. This morning, I am entrusted with the task of giving the eulogy for our dear sister. <clears throat> Dande Vera Paradisi was born on the 22nd August 1967. She was the fourth child and third daughter to Manichan Paradisi and the late Mina Paradisi. She grew up at number 16 New Settlement, carrying Savannah Road, Charlieville. Time at Adams Plaza that she was introduced to this handsome young man here on the left hand side, my uncle, Jagdish Ramsundar, who later took her hand in marriage and further migrated to Texas and then finally to Christiansburg. Her family was completed when she became the loving mother of two boys, John and Justin. Her selfless and caring personality extended far beyond her motherly duties. These char characteristics encourage Vera to complete her education and further accomplish becoming a certified nursing assistant. There were days when she complained how miserable these old people were. There were days when she complained how miserable these old people were. But there was never a time that she forgot the, her love for her job. She trained and practiced at Hamilton New York General Hospital and then at Warm, Health, Warm Heart. It was during her service at Heritage Hall Rehabilitation Center in Blacksburg, Virginia, when she fell seriously ill and made the reluctant decision to retire. Tanti Boopy, as she was fondly called by her nieces and nephews, the name needs no explanation, and many other close family members was most happiest when in the kitchen. 
If you were in the mood to make kitchen mischief, Tante Booby was most front and center and need no further instigation besides hearing, let's make this. She appreciated all genres of cuisine, but was a mad fan for Mexican food. Her signature dish was a Trini-style sweetbread. This was the image and taste of perfection. The calculated equation and ratio proportions of fruits and coconut resulting in nothing less than a masterpiece. Her vacation in Trinidad and of course Tobago was most, mostly spent catching up with relatives and friends and Miss Lady would hit, would hit two rivers and three beaches all in one week. One stand will be booked a ticket. Make sure you have vacation days, sick days, casual days, fake sick days, fake deceased relative days, maternity leave, <laughs> paternity leave, baptism days, anything that you could use. Because from the time of arrival until departure, it was a pump who was loved dearly by each and every one that knew her. No frills advice session from her. This read and hoped it would have helped her recover. Auntie Viria sadly passed away on the 27th of October 2022, leaving this world and her loved ones behind to gain the kingdom of the Lord as a new home. It was at the will of her Lord and Savior Jesus Christ that her pain and anguish came to an end, where she would return home in the arms of the loving Father. She was now resting pain and affliction free in the kingdom of God, where she will perform official angelic duties, watching and protecting over her family. We proclaim a peaceful rest until we meet again. We love you and we miss you and will always remember you. I would like to add a word from the Bible and taken from Proverbs chapter 3 verses 5 and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on to your own understanding. But in all thy ways acknowledge him and he will make your straight path, your path straight. Simply put, we may feel lost and confused during these painful times, but God has a reason and plan for everything. He knows where we are going and how we are getting there. So place all your faith and trust in Him. Before I hand over, I just wanted to say something personally. When I was in medical school, and every year we had exams, it was one, one person who, from, the, from away who would be with my mom and my aunt, fasting and praying for us and for me and better my education and I know that she wanted she wanted to see me do well and I hope I made you proud Auntie Vera. I just want to let let you know that we love you all we love you from all of us very much at this time I would like to invite Haridat, also known as Stevie Pardisi, who will be rendering us some songs on the keyboard. So what's your call on Kajabi? Just say a few words, right?
Thank you very much, Augustine. At this moment, at this moment, we would like to invite our officiating pastor, Pastor Jairam Baliram, from the Campu Word Ministry, who will be taking over the rest of the service. Praise the Lord, everyone. Good morning. It's, I have to say it's, you know, sad to meet in this type of occasion. Today we celebrate the life of Sister Vera. Can I ask you to stand this morning as we stand to pray? Um, I just want to make one correction. There's, um, uh, my name is... Jairam Balram with one L, not Balram. That's okay. <laughs> yes. So let's bow our heads in the presence of the Lord. This morning would not be long. Praise the Lord. Father, we thank you this morning. We give you glory, we give you honor this morning. As we come to celebrate the life of this woman, Father, a woman who loved God, a woman who served you, Father. And even this morning, the family, the words, everything speaks out this morning, Lord. So even now, Almighty God, as our head is bowed before you, we pray that God, your word, your word, Father, will go forth this morning and minister to the hearts of your people. And not only, O oh God, to these family, but to this community, Lord God. That your peace, your love, your joy, your goodness will flow over this community, Lord. Many will come to know you, Almighty God. So, Father, we give you praise and give you thanks. Somebody clap your hand for Jesus this morning. Can you give him a shout of praise this morning? Hallelujah. Come on, hallelujah. I believe there's some believers in the house. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Because we are celebrating this, this woman's life. Amen. She is in a better place. She's with the Lord thy God. I'm reading from the book of Job chapter 42, verse 15 to verse 17. It says, And in all the land were no woman found so fair as the daughters of Job. And their father give them inheritance among their brethren. After this, Job lived a hundred and forty years and saw his sons and his sons' sons, even the fourth generation. So Job died being, an old, being old and full of days. And everybody says, Amen. Amen. You may have your seats. Praise the Lord. I am Pastor Jariam from Campo Word Ministry in Canopia. I was asked to come and share, amen, with this family, the Word of God, to minister over their family. This morning I want to share with you for a few moments. In Him we shall live. In Christ we shall live. Listen. Dying is a must. Every one of us is going to face death. Believe it or not, every one of us is going to face death. We must die someday. Amen. To be absent from this body is to be present with the Lord. Amen. So one day, each one of us is going to die. Amen. We're going to face death. We're going to face judgment. Amen. The Bible says that Job lived a full life. Do you want to live a full life upon the face of the earth? Amen. The Bible tells me about this man called Job. Amen. Job said in one place, 
A man that is born of a woman is of a few days and full of trouble. Who don't have trouble? Who don't feel or go through difficulties? Who don't face challenges in their lives? Life is not smooth. Amen. Job said it. A man is born of a woman. Amen. And a few, in a few days, full of trouble. And every one of us face trouble, difficulties, and challenges in our lives. Just as Sister Vera faced challenges. But it sounds like she was a fighter. It sounds like she was a family person. It sounds like she's a woman. Amen. Know how to bring the family together. Amen. Hmm. The first point this morning, Job was a perfect man. A man who lived upright. Ladies, if you're looking for a good man, look for a man who is living upright. Look for a man who loves God. Can I get an amen this morning? Yeah. Amen. amen. Because the kind of man you guys know, I don't know. I can't say. Amen. 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 So it's kind of difficult to find a good man. True. Amen. But the Bible says. Woman too. Yeah, well, I'm going there. <laughs> I'm going there. Don't fail me. I forget. Amen. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Glory be to God. The Bible says, He that finding a wife finding a good thing. Yes. Amen. And I show she was a blessing in your life, brother. Amen. I'll tell you. Yes. So Job was a perfect man. He lived upright. The reason for that is because the Bible tells me he feared God and he stayed away from evil. And today we are living in a nation, in a world full of corruption and evil. Wickedness is plaguing our nation daily. Amen. That's why we need to be praying people. That's why we need to go back in the house of the Lord and turn our lives back to God. You see, people don't understand as a young man, I grew up in Felicity. And if you know Felicity, Felicity have over 48 bars. I'm not talking about blocks. I'm talking about 48 bars. I believe I was in every one of them. But God had a plan. And God have a plan for every one of us. Sister Vera have gone to be with the Lord. She have accomplished a plan and a purpose upon the face of the earth. Amen. So the Bible tells me he was a man full of integrity. Is there integrity today around us? Is there people full of integrity, full of integrity today? No, Jesus said, man rather darkness than, you know, man love darkness rather than light. Amen? You know, during the lockdown, we notice that we could not go to certain places. But I tell you, people like to party, people like to fet. But when it comes to God, it's like difficult to serve God. Amen. The Bible said, Jesus said, man rather darkness than light. Yes. You know why? Because their deeds are evil. But God has given us an opportunity to turn to the Lord. And light, light come in our lives. Somebody could give God some praise this morning. The Bible tells me about this man called Job. The Bible tells me God boasts about Job. Amen. Just imagine God boasts about this man Job. The Bible tells me, and the Lord said unto Satan, Has thou considered my servant Job, that there is none like him in the earth, a perfect and upright man, a man that fear God and hate evil? Here it is, God is boasting about the living. Amen. amen. The Bible says how precious, amen, is the saint who died. Glory be to God. So here it is, you don't want God to boast about you. You don't want God to boast about you as the scripture says. So the Bible says, Job, God boasts about this man. And guess who Job, God boasts about? God boasts about Job concerning Satan. And the kind of man he is. That is okay. That is okay. Let the man talk. Amen. But the Bible says, Job yet was a perfect man. He still died and was buried. 
Amen. We can live how perfect we, we want to live. When death comes knocking, we have to go. Amen. When death comes knocking, hallelujah, we have to go. I remember this story about this young man. You know, there are people fighting to live. But well, this young man called me one day and he said, Pastor, by 7 o'clock today, I will be a dead man. I said, what are you going to do? Uh, he said, I'm going to hang myself. I said, okay then. I put down the phone and I asked my wife, I said, what are you making for dinner? And I left that right there. Seven o'clock come and pass. I said, I was, I wonder if he's hanging right now. Why sure we're going to with him? Nine o'clock, I called him. He answered the phone. I said, good, he ain't hang himself. So I said, what happened? He said, man, I went up in the roof and raised the phone and become slippery. Change your mind. Come on, somebody. Some people fighting to live and some people want to take their lives. It's like some little boy, you know, the girl leave you and you the best thing, the best solution is grandma's own. Am I talking to somebody this morning? When pressure hits you, the best thing is to take your life. Amen. And sometimes when pressure hit, turn to the Lord thy God. He's able to heal you. He's able to direct you. He's able to lift you up. He's able to speak to you. He's able to minister to you. The things that Job went through as a believer, half of us have never faced in our lives. Imagine this man, he lost everything. He lost his children. Amen. He lost his business. The only thing remained was his wife. Somebody say, oops. Amen. Amen. And even she told him, she said, why well, don't curse God and die? He turned to her and said, well, you're acting like a foolish woman. And that's why we need women to stand next to us and support us as men. We need men support. Somebody could say amen this morning for that. Amen. I know it's a funeral, but I come to preach and I preach as the Lord lead me to preach this morning because we need this word. We need this food. We need this correction. We need this direction in our lives. Every one of us. The Bible tells me about David. David was a man after God's heart. The Bible tells me in 1 Samuel chapter 3 verse 14, And the Lord sought him a man after his own heart, and the Lord had commanded him to be captain over his people. David was a powerful worshiper. David is a man who wrote most of the Psalms. The Bible tells me he was a man after God's heart. He loved God just like every one of us. Amen. The Bible tells me what we could learn about David. The Bible says from rags to riches, a shepherd boy to a king. Amen. David was a warrior who shed much blood. And that's why the scripture says he could not build a temple. Amen. Because of the amount of blood he shed. His son Solomon had to build a temple. But the thing about David, all the king he was, all the anointing he had, all the power he had, the Bible says he committed adultery. Amen. David was neglected as a father. His family was plagued with strife and strategy. And all so many things happened with David as a king. When you read the accounts of most of the psalm, you could feel the pain of this man. And what he went through as a king was a man after God's heart. Amen. But all, he, all his heart was for God. Yet he still died and was buried. So Job died and was buried. All the king David was, he still died and was buried. You know, time will permit to speak about Abraham and Noah and Jacob and Joseph. Amen. The Bible tells me God came in the flesh. Emmanuel, God with us. David, or it's not David, uh, John the Baptist said, Behold, amen, the Lamb of God that take away our sins. Here it is, the Bible tells me about Emmanuel, God among us. Amen. All who love Jesus in the tent, can you lift your hand this morning and say, I love Jesus this morning. Amen. You could love him and not go to church, but you still love him and he knows you love him. 
Amen. The Bible says, love the Lord God with all your heart, all your soul, and all your might. With everything, love God. You know why? Because the Bible said he first loved you. When you wasn't thinking about yourself, he was thinking about you. Amen. When you, th when you was thinking about the type of life you were living, he was thinking about the type of life you were living. And the Bible says he came and shed his blood on Calvary. Amen. To redeem us back to God. Oh, we could give God some praise. Hallelujah. The Bible says in first in John chapter 1, verse 1, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. Amen. Amen. The Bible tells me in John chapter 1, verse 14, and the word became flesh and dwelt among us. And I just spoke about that. Emmanuel, God with us. First Peter chapter 2, verse 22 tells us. Who did no sin, neither was guilt found in his mouth. Amen. Second Corinthians chapter 5 verse 21 says, For he has made himself to be sin for us who knew no sin. And that is powerful for us to understand. That Jesus, Emmanuel God, came on into the world. A man without sin died on the cross. To redeem us back to God. The good news about it this morning is when Jesus died and was buried. The Bible tells me three days after he was resurrected. Glory be to God. Job died and was buried. Hallelujah. David died and was buried. Abraham died and he was buried. Glory be to God. All the saints died and was buried. But thanks be to God. Jesus said, Amen. Destroy this temple and three days it shall be lifted up again I am saying to you this morning Jesus died amen and buried and rose on the third day he said to Martha I am the resurrection and life glory be to God this morning we can give God and the Bible tells me because he live we will live when we die in him amen we will live in him glory be to God you know why he's the resurrection and life Amen. death is not a choice it's an opportunity it's an opportunity Jesus presents to every one of us eternal life after death the Bible tells me amen about the rich man and the poor man the Bible says the rich man live any kind of life and I'm not saying it's, it's wrong to be rich. It's a blessing to be rich. Glory be to God. But it's not a blessing not to know God when you're rich. Amen. And the Bible tells me, the Bible, the Bible says two of them died about the same time. But the poor man had an angelic host carrying him up straight to God. And the, poor, the rich man was dead and was buried. He end up with man in hell. Amen. That's not hell wasn't created for us. It wasn't made for us. But the Bible tells me Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. No man come to the Father but through Jesus. He is the door. He is the good shepherd. Amen. And if you do not know him. I trust that you will know him. I trust that you will know him. Amen. I want to share one story with you. I was preaching in church. And while I was preaching, I began to pray for people. And there was a line of people I'm praying for. And there was a man. He came to pick up his wife. He'll drop her. And he will pick her back. He's coming by the gate, but he's not coming in church. And while I'm praying, the Lord told me, he said, that man outside there, go and call him. That you will pray for him. So I sent a message. And I said, come, I want to pray with you. And the man said, no, I'm not coming. I sent someone. To pray for him. You see when God is calling us. 
we must be obedient to his call. Yet God is knocking at our hearts daily. Yet we reject that call. The Bible says he stands at the door and knocks. You know why? Because the church put out Jesus according to the scripture. Amen. Amen. And guess what? As amen, the man said, I'm not coming. I sent somebody to pray for him. Three days after, he got a head stroke. God wanted to prevent that. God wanted to protect that man from debt and pain. I had to go Wednesday, Sunday, I prayed. We, we prayed for him. Wednesday, hallelujah. He got sick. His wife called me. She said, I'm fed up talking to this man. He should have listened and come in the house of the Lord. Amen. Thursday, I'm in the hospital laying hands and praying for him. And guess what? He's in the house of the Lord serving God now. Sometimes we need a wake up call. Sometimes we need an alarm clock. Sometimes we need, amen. Sometimes Something to speak to us, to remind us that there's a God outside there. A God who loves us, who cares for us, who extended his hand for us. In the cross and on the cross. Amen. The Bible says he was wounded for our transgression. He was bruised for our iniquity. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And by his stripes we were made whole. If you do not know him, I trust that you will know him. Can I share one more story with you? I went to preach on a 40 day service. When I finished preaching, there was a man there. And the Lord just said, Call that man. Call him. And I begin to pray for this man. And as I pray for this man, everybody in the, 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 in the tent knew this man, the type of life he was living. And everybody said, Pastor, he needed it. He needed it. Everyone need that prayer that day. But you know how we like to point fingers? You know how like we like to point fingers when we have people who don't live that life they're supposed to be living according to your standard? Hmm, that deep, right? Yeah. But I prayed for that man. And the man gave his life to Jesus that day. And he was crossing the highway some time ago and got knocked down and died. We got to wake up. We got to realize that one day we are going to die. Amen. And I'm saying to you according to the word of the Lord. Let's turn our hearts back to Jesus. If you never go to church, find yourself in the house of the Lord. To this house, or to this household. I trust that you will find yourself back in the house of the Lord. I see Brother Steve is coming back in the house of the Lord. Brother Steve coming a few times. Bless the Lord for that. So as I close... My little sermon this morning. Amen. Jesus is not dead. He's alive. Amen. Amen. Glory be to God. If you, when you accept him, he's alive in you. Would you bow your heads, everybody? Can I ask the keyboardist to play something very quietly? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord this morning. This morning, if you do not know him, in this funeral, our sister, Sister Severa, she's in a better place. Amen. She lived for the Lord. She went to church. God elevated her. God blessed her. Amen. But who knows? We don't hold tomorrow. He holds tomorrow. This morning, if you do not know him, Amen. Get to know him. The Bible says with the mouth confession is made. Amen. And when you believe in your heart that Jesus died and rose again, thou shall be saved. Would you say with me, Lord Jesus, I come before you. Forgive me of all my sins. And wash me with your precious blood. Lord, from today, I accept you in my heart that I will follow you all the days of my life. If you say that prayer this morning, God heard you. Can we give God a shout of praise? Let's all stand this morning. I want to do one more thing this morning. 
I want to pray for the family as a big family. I realize it's a real big family, so I want to pray for the family. This is one of the things I always do as a preacher, pray for the family. So can I ask the family to come and stand a little bit close? All the family members, sons, husband, anybody else, family, brothers, sisters, come. Come close. I want to share something with you. Jesus. Yes, Lord God. I want to share a verse with you. Psalms 133. Behold how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. Just anoint men upon the head that runs down upon the beard and went down even to the skirt of his garment. Unity. Oneness. Standing together as a family. The Bible says a blessing when we unite. When we stand together. Amen. To the husband, to the children. It's a blessing to stand together. Amen. Holding each other's hand. I believe Sister Vera might want that. So I'm saying to this whole entire family, those, amen, maybe sitting in the, in, across there in the back of me, listen to the words of this preacher this morning. Stand together. As we pray, everybody, can you point your hand towards the family, the husband, father? Give this man strength, Lord. The time where he enjoyed with Sister Vera. All his memories now, God. And I pray that God, you give him the strength that he needs this morning. To minister, minister over his life through the Holy Ghost. I pray that God, you comfort the children, you comfort every family member, brother, sister, oh God, aunt, nephew, uncle, oh God, begin to release, oh God, that spirit of comfort, almighty God, the Holy Ghost, to walk alongside of them in this time, oh God. So this morning I release, oh God, your covering and your blessing over this entire family. Almighty God, as you stand to... Lord, we give you praise. We give you thanks. And everybody says, Amen. Can we clap our hands for Jesus? Amen. I now turn you back to the pastor, the worship leader and the pastor this morning. Thank you so much for having me. Amen. Glory be to God this morning. Praise the Lord. You know, one of the things that you know I just heard that Sister Cindy said she loved fast choruses. And you know, before she leave, you know, to go to cremate, you know, a lot of people, Sister Lynn and Sister Sharon. You know, as the Lord lead them, they just sing. Hallelujah. Thank you. Oh. oh. Sorry. He is able to save. He is able to save. Able to satisfy. My God is able abundantly.
The husband of oh sorry the husband of Dande Vera Bubi Ramsundar Paradesi. Uh, I would like to say that I appreciate very much the presence of the Trinidad and Tobago Police Service on this uh, solemn occasion. I would also like to show my appreciation for everyone who is here today and who would be listening, sharing my thoughts as I express it to you, and also this sorrowful period in my life and my children and family life. Uh, I haven't lived in this country for 40 years. And I, the last two months I have went through the gamut of emotions. This country is allowing, the people is allowing the government to dictate to them what their life should be. There is no way the bureaucratic process in this country should take a month and a half where it have to go from one ministry to the next, like if you're taking a, a tortoise to tr transport the material from one ministry to the next. What happening? It take a month. My wife passed away in October 27. I had to sit two months, half a mile from her, passing to go to the grocery and everything. And when you love somebody, I want to say this first. Appreciate the people you love because you don't know when God's plan is to shorten that for you, your experience. 
I studied for 44 years before I married Vera. I was doing my PhD and I was lonely. And I didn't want to marry a white girl because I wanted, I like roti and thing too much. <laughs> what happened? Tanti Minor sent me a picture of this pretty girl. And she said, when you come, I was coming home for Christmas. When you come home, check this girl out. I came in Christmas, and for Easter, where you had this Easter break, in two weeks I was here, I got married, I even got her permits to transfer, to travel with me on the same plane in the next seat to go to Texas. Where would that happen? God put this woman in my life and I'm a Hindu and she's a Christian. Now you know religion causes a lot of trouble in people's lives if they're not open-minded enough because people should appreciate the fact that God has his unique way of dealing with every single person. Every person has their own personal relationship with God. Whether he's Christian or, or, or Hindu or Muslim or whatever. I pray to every God name. Because I, don't, I am not smart enough. I have studied so much and I now realize I'm still so dumb. I know very little. Because more you know is more you see and you still have to know. This woman and I spent the first year we got married, in 1996, we got married in March. I had quadruple bypass surgery in September, and John was born in December. That's the first year we married. We always live far away from everybody, no farmers. For the research I do, I'm a scientist that works with organ transplant. I work on pigs. We have to have pigs not where there is any pig farms around. So they're always up in the mountain. I always live in high mountains up in Syracuse, New York. I living right now in Christiansburg, Virginia, in the Appalachian Mountains. So we don't have pig farms around there. I, they recently transplanted a pig heart into a human. I worked on that heart in designing it. Anyhow, I have retired in 19, uh, 2019. My wife and I, she was a Hindu and a Christian for Diwali, every, we never had a problem. We lived perfectly together for 25 years. She was working 1971, uh, uh, 2021 July, and she died in October. I don't want anybody in this country to experience that disease. Just to give you a, 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 a couple uh, lines about this disease, First, the name alone is terrible. It calls, it's called prime of life disease. That means when you reach the prime of your life, ready to live everything, you die. And that's exactly what happened. One in a hundred thousand people get that in the US. And at no time, there's more than five people alive per year. At no time. People live less than one to five years with this disease. This is such an awful disease. It's a, 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 a a conglomeration between Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, and dementia. The worst part is to live with somebody like that, with that disease, and not knowing. The doctor, I had to take videos to show the doctors for them to diagnose because they're calling it Parkinsonism. Because it, it, it's not Parkinson's, she does not tremors. But there's a form of it, they say. Then they get, this is a, such a, a bad disease that it only shows up at real symptoms coming to the last end of its stage. The end stage of this disease where she can move, she can get, you know what's the worst thing? To have all your muscles, she was able to go on the treadmill. And then when she sit down, she can't get up. Her brain cannot tell her legs to move. You're losing your mind. In six months, she went where she can't stand up again, falling all over the place. She, she, I have to take care of every aspect of her life. 
I lost 35 pounds in a year and I didn't do a lick of exercise because I'm a lazy person. Anyhow, I, I appreciate you guys here today and I want to leave you, as the pastor said, uh, Job was perfect. I would leave you with John chapter 1, verse 1, 9. I am not perfect. I am forgiven. Thank you all. Praise the Lord. There's so much we can say about our loved ones. Word can express. So, brother, thank you very, very much You're welcome. for sharing your heart. At this time, I will leave the floor open if anyone has to share or say anything. Now is the time. If not, if not, you want to say something? Okay. Oh, I, I, sorry, I didn't ask. Um, first, thank you, everybody. Excuse. Um. <laughs> Take the time, Sean. Oh, yeah. You know, growing up, most of my parents always said, that, um, you know, cherish the time you get with your parents, man. Because one day you might lose some, right? And through this pain, you know, you you have a lot of self-reflection. You think of all the things that the most important people say in your life. I'm not a parent, and I don't, <laughs> I wouldn't know the pain or struggles that it comes with. But the last time I saw my mother, she was <laughs> in the last stages of this, and. During this, she can, she can only show single emotions, you know? She can't hide anything. And this time I was moving across the country to Seattle, Washington, away from home. And when I was saying goodbye to her, man, uh, she, she started crying, of course, you know, as all mothers would. But for the first time ever I saw the most painful look I've ever seen in my mother's face. And I just got a very small glimpse of how much she cared for my brother and I. Another thing a very, very important person said to me is the definition of an angel is someone who can show up in your life with nothing and improve your life an immense amount and leave without asking for anything. One of my heroes quotes. That was my mother, not to me and I know, not just to me but to everybody here I know. She was a person who could bring the whole world together it seemed. Um, and I ask each and every one of you today is a challenge from now on to try to do the same. I know I, I will. So thank you everybody for showing up and I appreciate every one of you. Thank you. No matter, no matter what, she would have welcomed anyone with open arms. It doesn't matter who you are. If you come in your house, she would always make sure you're fed. You make sure you're properly comfortable and everything. And every time, and she also loved what she did. No matter what anyone else would say, she loved what she did. She poured her heart to taking care of people. And just, and that's why. I try to strive to be like mom any time I go out to work. Um, near the end, every night, she would always want to get tucked in. She would give me a hug. And that's one thing I'll never forget, is tucking her in every night and telling her good night. Garrett giving me a hug. That's what I'll miss it the most. 
I'm glad that she's in a better place now. Praise the Lord at this time. We'll pay our last respect for coming and viewing the body. Go first. Uh, I don't know. Just. I'll let everyone else go. <laughs> yeah.
sign. The body will be given to go to the cremation site and what's in it. Question 
Only God knows why I'm just jealous of the angels Around the throne tonight Singing hallelujah 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 I'm just jealous of the angels around the throne Didn't know today would be our last Or that I'd have to say goodbye to you so fast I'm so numb I can't feel How are you doing? I didn't know you was a doctor. Going through the motions. Yeah, I didn't know you was a doctor. I don't tell people yeah. these things, you know. Why? I too cheap, you see. <laughs> Anytime I tell people I'm a doctor, they want to charge me more money for things. So I yeah. just tell, don't tell nobody I, 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 yeah. I don't work at peace. No, I well, when, you, when you spoke yeah. there, I realized you. Yeah, I, I, I don't tell people who I am. This country don't know yeah. who I am. If I just start publishing, I go give a lecture, everybody gonna know. Why should I do that? I retire now. Yeah, you retire. I, I did my part. Yeah. So we're gonna do the final rides here, no? So, this guy pushing it. You're paying him? Two songs, so I don't know if you want to go on my gun now. Who's singing? Which one you singing, right? Yeah. Good morning again. We are about to do the final rides for Sister Vera, the body of Sister Vera. Let's bow our heads, everybody. Father, we thank you, Almighty God. We give you all the praise, all the glory, and all the honor, Lord God Almighty. Father God, we thank you, Almighty God, for all the memories, oh Lord God. We pray that God, you come for this family in this time as we are about to do the final rites for this body of Sister Vera. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Can I have one song from Deliverance Tabernacle? When the trumpet of the Lord shall sound and time shall be no more And the morning breaks eternal bright and fair When the save of earth shall gather over on the other shore And the roll is called up yonder I'll be there When the roll is called up yonder When the roll is called up yonder When the roll Yonder, when the roll is called up, yonder I'll be there. On that bright and cloudless morning, when the dead in Christ shall rise, 
and the glory of his resurrection share. When his chosen one shall gather to their home beyond the sky, and the roll is called up yonder, I'll be there. When the roll is called up yonder, 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 I'll be there. There's a land that is fairer than day, and by faith we shall see it afar. For the Father awaits over the way to prepare us a dwelling place there. In the sweet by and by, we shall meet on that beautiful shore. In the sweet by and by, we shall meet on that beautiful shore. Thank you very much. For we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so them also which are asleep in Jesus will God bring with him. Amen. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain it, remain it unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of an archangel, and with the trumpet of God, the dead in Christ shall raise first. And then we which are alive and remain, remain it shall be caught, caught up together with them in the cloud to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we be with the Lord. This morning, this is one of God's promise, one of his major promise in the word of God. Where the scripture says that one day Jesus is going to burst the sky Amen. And the dead in Christ shall raise first. All of us who are believers are waiting on that wonderful day. The Bible says, comfort your brethren with this, these words, Paul says. Paul is reminding us, amen, as I said by the funeral home, that Jesus, amen, is a resurrection and life. The Bible tells me he was crucified. He died he buried and was resurrected. But the church today is waiting on a major promise that one day Jesus is going to burst the sky. And the Bible says the dead in Christ shall raise first. Amen. God thinks about the dead. Those who believe in Jesus Christ. Amen. That day will come when Jesus bursts that sky. The dead in Christ shall raise first. And we that are remain shall be caught up to meet the Lord in the air. This is a promise, amen, to all believers, all Christians who love the Lord thy God and serve Him with, all the, with everything, their whole life. So I want to encourage you that one day, as a believer in Jesus, you will see Sister Vera again, amen? Because the Bible promises us, amen, and the Bible tells us to be absent from His body, to be present with the Lord. Amen. Scripturally speaking, people believe that there is no heaven and no hell. But according to the Bible, there is heaven and there is a hell. Amen. This is a narrow road we need to walk, my friends. It's how you live your life upon the face of the earth. Amen. On that day of judgment, you will know. Either you will hear, thou fool, thy soul is required, or well done, good and faithful servant. I prefer you hear, well done, good and faithful servant. These words are to encourage us and to increase us and increase our faith as believers in Jesus Christ. So this morning, as we are about to do the final rites, amen, in the name of Jesus Christ, whom she loved and served, we come at our body to rest, knowing that our spirit is with the Lord in heavenly house. In so doing, we rest our hearts in fresh confidence upon sure and certain hope of the resurrection to life through Jesus Christ, who shall change our veiled body, that it may be fashioned unto the likeness of glorious body, according to the work whereby he is able to subdue all things unto himself. This morning I want to invite the pastor of Deliverance Tabernacle to do the final rites as she comes. Amen.
Praise the Lord. And in the name of Jesus Christ, we commit the body of what's the name? Hmm? Vera, Vera. Is Vera what? Vera Paradise. Hmm. Earth to earth. Ashes to ashes. Ashes to ashes. And dust to dust. dust. Let's pray. Father, we thank you. We yes, pray Lord. that God Almighty, that you will comfort this family. Yes, Lord. That you will bless this family. And Father, as they heard the word the from me and the woman of God, I pray that God, their faith will increase yes, to Lord. serve you more. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Thank you, Lord. And everybody says, Amen. Amen. The Lord bless you so much. Amen.
Didn't know today would be our last Or that I'd have to say goodbye to you so fast I'm so numb I can't feel anymore I'm praying you just walk back through that door and tell me that I was only dreaming You're not really gone as long as I believe There will be another angel Around the throne tonight Your love lives on inside of me And I will hold on tight not my place to question Only God knows why I'm just jealous of the angels Around the throne tonight Always made my Troubles feel so small And you were always there to catch me When I'd fall In a world where heroes come and go 
Well, God just took the only one I know. So I'll hold you as close as I can, longing for the day when I see your face again. But until then, God must need another angel around the throne tonight. Your love lives on inside of me, and I will hold on tight. It's not my place to question. Only God knows why. Just jealous of the angels around the throne tonight, singing hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Just jealous of the angels around the throne Didn't know today would be our last, or that I'd have to say goodbye to you so fast. I'm so numb I can't feel anymore. I'm praying you just walk by through that door. And tell me that I was only dreaming. You're not really gone as long as I believe. There will be another angel around the throne tonight. Your love lives on inside of me, and I will hold on tight. It's not my place to question. Only God knows why. I'm just jealous of the angels around the throne tonight. Always made my Troubles feel so small, and you were always there to catch me when I'd fall. In a world where heroes come and go, where、well, God just took the only one I know. So I'll hold you. As close as I can, longing for the day when I see your face again. But until then, God must need another angel around the throne tonight. Your love lives on inside. And I will hold on tight. It's not my place to question. Only God knows why. I'm just jealous of the angels around the throne.
home tonight Singing hallelujah 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 I'm just jealous of Didn't know today would be our last Or that I'd have to say goodbye to you so fast I'm so numb I can't feel anymore I'm praying you just walk back through that door and tell me that I was only dreaming You're not really gone as long as I believe There will be another angel Around the throne tonight Your love lives on inside of me And I will hold on tight not my place to question Only God knows why I'm just jealous of the angels Around the throne tonight Always made my troubles so small And you were always there to catch me When I'd fall In a world Where heroes come and go Where God just took I know And on and size to cause why just jealous of the angels around the throne tonight Singing hallelujah 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 Didn't know today would be our last Or that I'd have to say goodbye to you so fast I'm so numb I can't feel anymore I'm praying you just walk back through that door and tell me that I was only dreaming You're not really gone as long as I believe There will be another angel Around the throne tonight Your love lives on inside of me And I will hold on tight not my 
place to question Only God knows why I'm just jealous of the angels Around the throne tonight Always made my troubles feel so small And you were always there to catch me when I'd fall In a world where heroes come and go Where God just took the only one I know So I'll hold you as close as I can Longing for the day when I see your face again But until then God must need another angel Around the throne tonight Your love lives on inside of me And I will hold on tight It's not my place to question only God knows why I'm just jealous of the angels Around the throne tonight Singing hallelujah Hallelujah I'm just jealous of Around the throne tonight I'm so numb I can't feel anymore Praying you just walk back through that door And tell me that I was only dreaming You're not really gone as long as I believe There will be another angel Around the throne tonight Love lives on inside of me And I will hold on tight It's not my place to question Only God knows why I'm just jealous of the angels Around the throne tonight Always made my troubles feel so small And you were always there to catch me when I'd fall In a world where heroes come and go Where God just took the only one I know so I'll hold you as close as I can Longing for the day when I see your face again But until then God must need another angel around the throne tonight your love lives on inside me And I will hold on tight It's not my place to question 
Only God knows why I'm just jealous of the angels Around the throne tonight Singing hallelujah Didn't know today would be your last Or that I'd have to say goodbye to you so fast I'm so numb I can't feel anymore At door And tell me that I was only dreaming You're not really gone as long as I believe There will be another angel Around the throne tonight Your love lives on inside of me And I will hold on tight it's not my place to question Only God knows why I'm just jealous of the angels Around the throne tonight Always made my Troubles feel so small And you were always there to catch me When I'd fall In a world where heroes come and go Where God just took the only one I know so I'll hold you as close as I can Longing for the day when I see your face again But until then, God must need another angel around the throne tonight your love lives on inside of me And I will hold on tight It's not my place to question Only God knows why I'm just jealous of the angels Around the throne tonight Singing hallelujah Didn't know today would be our last Or that 
That I'd have to say goodbye to you so fast I'm so numb I can't feel anymore I'm praying you just walk back through that door And tell me that I was only dreaming You're not really gone as long as I believe There will be another angel Around the throne tonight Love lives on inside of me And I will hold on tight It's not my place to question Only God knows why Jealous of the angels Around the throne tonight Always made my troubles feel so small And you were always there to catch me when I'd fall In a world where heroes come and go Well, God just took the only one I know so I'll hold you as close as I can Longing for when I see your face again But until then God must need another angel Around the throne tonight Your love lives on inside and I will hold on tight It's not my place to question Only God knows why I'm just jealous of the angels Around the throne tonight Singing hallelujah Didn't know today would be our last Or that I'd have to say goodbye to you so fast I'm so numb I can't feel anymore I'm praying you just walk back through that door and tell me that I was only dreaming You're not really gone as long as I believe There will be another angel Around the throne tonight Your love lives on inside of me And I will hold on tight not my place to question Only God knows why I'm 
just jealous of the angels around the throne tonight. I've always made my troubles feel so small, and you were always there to catch me. And I'd fall in a world where heroes come and go, where God just took the only one I know. So I'll hold you as close as I can, longing for the day. When I see your face again, but until then, God must need another angel around the throne tonight. Your love lives on inside of me. Who's funeral home? A leader in the funeral industry for over 25 years is now at number two Southern Main Road, Canopia. At Buru's, you are assured quality service and affordable funeral packages, so that your loved ones get the send-off they deserve. Buru's can ship and receive worldwide. When the inevitable occurs, you can rely on Buru's funeral home, funeral directors, and embalmers. Now at number two Southern Main Road, Canopia, 24-hour service available. Phone three seven zero eight zero three six. Buru's Funeral Home, a leader in the funeral industry. Buru's Funeral Home, a leader in the funeral industry for over 25 years, is now at number 2 Southern Main Road, Canopia. At Buru's, you are assured quality service and affordable funeral packages so that your loved ones get the send-off they deserve. Buru's can ship and receive worldwide. When the inevitable occurs, you can rely on Buru's Funeral Home, funeral directors and embalmers. Now at number 2 Southern Main Road, Canopia. 24-hour service available. Phone 370-8036. Buru's Funeral Home, a leader in the funeral industry. Buru's Funeral Home, a leader in the funeral industry for over 25 years, is now at number 2 Southern Main Road, Canopia. At Buru's, you are assured quality service and affordable funeral packages so that your loved ones get the send-off they deserve. Buru's can ship and receive worldwide. When the inevitable occurs, you can rely on Buru's Funeral Home, funeral directors and embalmers. Now at number 2 Southern Main Road, Canopia. 24-hour service available. Phone 370-8036. Buru's Funeral Home, a leader in the funeral industry. Buru's Funeral Home, a leader in the funeral industry for over 25 years, is now at number 2 Southern Main Road, Canopia. At Buru's, you are assured quality service and affordable funeral packages so that your loved ones get the send-off they deserve. Buru's can ship and receive worldwide. When the inevitable occurs, you can rely on Buru's Funeral Home, funeral directors and embalmers. Now at number 2 Southern Main Road, Canopia. 24-hour service available. Phone 370-8036. Buru's Funeral Home, a leader in the funeral industry. Buru's Funeral Home, a leader in the funeral industry for over 25 years, is now at number 2 Southern Main Road, Canopia. At Buru's, you are assured quality service and affordable funeral packages so that your loved ones get the send-off they deserve. Buru's can ship and receive worldwide. When the inevitable occurs, you can rely on Buru's Funeral Home, funeral directors and embalmers. Now at number 2 Southern Main Road, Canopia. 24-hour service available. Phone 370-8036. Buru's Funeral Home, a leader in the funeral industry. Buru's Funeral Home, a leader in the funeral industry for over 25 years, is now at number 2 Southern Main Road, Canopia. At Buru's, you are assured quality service and affordable funeral packages so that your loved ones get the send-off they deserve. Buru's can ship and receive worldwide. When the inevitable occurs, you can rely on Buru's Funeral Home, funeral directors and embalmers. Now at number 2 Southern Main Road, Canopia. 24-hour service available. Phone 370-8036. Buru's Funeral Home, a leader in the funeral industry.